Hello everybody, it's Alex McKenzie with another episode of an experiment called life. We are now over a hundred episodes, but it originally kind of started as a vlog. So the beginning episodes are more vloggy rather than podcasty, but we're here, we're doing it and it is November 13th and we are live from my parents' basement. Um, this is the final week of the Hunger for Laughs comedy tour. So it's very, very exciting. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to wrapping it up and uh, putting a little bow and ribbon on this thing and getting ready for our next projects, which are very exciting. But uh, this is the biggest show of the tour. So we're, we're home. We're in Prince George. We're at the CN Center. So this is my first time ever performing in an arena, which is uh, pretty wild. I never thought we would even get to here. And now we're doing it, man. And uh, the sales are very, very good, dude. Like, it's looking like we could potentially sell out. Um, it is the smallest setup for the arena. So, uh, you know, it's not like we're doing the whole thing in the round. But imagine one day, the whole round, and you could just sit there like this and do like a full spin and tell jokes in every direction. That would be the dream, getting that going. Um, yeah, I'm wearing my lovely necklace. I got this. I don't know. It's probably got a fancy name. I call it my Malaka Laka necklace, but it was from uh, Esmeray Designs out of Red Deer. Uh, we did our, our last weekend. We were in Grand Prairie and Red Deer and both shows sold out. It was amazing. So much fun. And a lovely uh, friend gave me this necklace for my meditations uh, that I can do. And it's got good juju. I uh, drove all the way home with it on. It's pretty cool, man. I really like it. It's something that I'll definitely use uh, every day as I'm uh, doing it. So, yeah, my thoughts on everything. The tour is uh, a very big success, I would say. Um, the shows have been... It's been the funnest shows I've ever been a part of. I've never, never had anything like it where it's just like, just start to finish, just fire, dude. Like, the crowds are going nuts like it's so much fun the last show i actually was a bit of a jerk i um <laughs> i opened the show and i was on stage for 28 minutes i did a 28 minute host spot off the top i couldn't get off stage it was too fun the people in red deer were just too good and i wanted to tell all my jokes and i couldn't stop it and uh what happened is it really got in my head because i heard there was this one person in the crowd and they said out loud, they're like, wow, he's so good. And I could hear that. And I was like, keep going, Alex, you're doing great. And I just couldn't stop it, um, which was pretty bad because I told Ivan, he's like, uh, he's the first act. I was like, hey man, I'm gonna keep it real tight off the top, be ready, cause I'm probably gonna do 10 minutes. And then he had to wait in the wings for like 18 minutes while I like sat out there just soaking it in being a jerk so I felt pretty bad about that um, he took it very well he was good he's like dude it's you know it's your show do whatever you want I mean I don't care so that was good but then what I did is we really tightened it up for the rest of the show and we came in on time so came in under the two hour mark which was really good and uh, yeah so much fun man I don't know I've got this new bit that I'm working on about my brother <laughs> spraying himself with bear mace at the car wash and I think it's uh, it's the best joke I've ever written in my life. It's uh, hands down the best joke. It's like, it's one of the first jokes where I'm halfway through the joke and people are going nuts. And I, uh, I'm like, dude, just wait. It is going to get so much better. And they're like, and the, the tags are tight enough that people are like still laughing aggressively that then when you add the tag, it's another big pop on top of already. Like it's one of the first times I've really been able to feel like, dude, like I have the room rolling, like where they're just like, doo -doo, doo -doo, and you feel the beats and it's, uh, it's so cool, man. And it's about like, it's comedy that I actually want to do. It's not like, um, not like my dumb little jokes, you know, where you're like, I can actually, uh, I don't know. Because at first, you just kind of write a joke. That's all you're trying to learn to do. Write a joke, get a laugh, and you're like, cool. And it doesn't have to be about anything, you know? You just write them about, about a knapsack or something, you know? And then you're just trying to get funny. But now I'm getting to a point where I think I've learned it enough that I get to write about some stuff I want to write about. And uh, that's why I'm kind of excited to be done. The tour is... 
I feel way too producery, but it's already like the problem is I don't know if it, when it's gonna stop. Like we're getting close, we're getting so much more, but I I can feel it. Like when I start doing too much producer stuff, so you're always worried about like you know just stuff to do with the shows, like emails back and forth from to the venues, and you have to email with the tech teams and load in times and travel and hotels and marketing and ticket sales and then we are working with all the charities and um, all of that stuff is really draining and I really miss like the creative process like I really miss the I love writing dumb jo I love writing those dumb jokes and like putting them online and then writing my stand up and like working on that craft and like trying to get better at that and I can feel my soul needs it right now man like I just need to get back to uh, creating some more stuff and uh, putting out some more some more content, as the kids say. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So the tour, it's almost finished and then I've got most of December to do that. I've only got like one actual book show in December in Banff, which I took the show because it's BAMP and I'm like, dude, BAMP in the winter, like that's gonna be a fun time. Like, it's just beautiful, the snow, the mountains. Plus, I just love BAMP, man. That's where like, I do my fasting and uh, every time I go there, it feels, I definitely recharges my cup. Like my little spiritual, if I, if my spirit meter was like a health bar in a video game, every time I go there, it's just like back up to the green, you know? So I'm really looking forward to that show. And then uh, just getting to hit the stages again in Vancouver. Getting to do all those little five-minute spots again. That is something that's bringing me a bunch of joy. Like just being able to get on stage like multiple times a night. Do -do 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 -do, and just get get this stuff rocking and uh, rolling, as the kids say. And then uh, after that, we're getting ready, dude. We've got our East Coast tour coming up. So it's the biggest East Coast tour I've done yet. It's actually has my biggest solo show I've ever done. So, and, and it was by mistake. So I've got a booking agent now, which is the coolest thing ever. I'm so lucky to have this lady working uh, with as part of the team. So, uh, ECL Productions, we hired, hired a lovely lady named Lauren, and she is just phenomenal. She's just putting in so much work and getting so many shows booked. And I've gone to Fredericton. I've got a really good friend out there, Trinda, my good friend, shout out. Uh, very excited to go see her and Trinda uh, Every time I've got a Fredericton it's sold out. It's been great We've done this one pub there and we've got like 125 to 150 people um, We did 150 the first time they're like dude, that's too many We can't do that again. So we lowered it to 125 the second time um, But I was like I want to do a theater. I want to try to do a bigger venue Fredericton has always come out and supported I think it'd be a really good city to like scale up in so I was asking my friend Trinda, and I was like, what uh, What should we do? And she's like, oh, the Playhouse, do the Playhouse. It's this cute little theater, it's great. Uh, you know, it would be perfect for you. And I'm like, awesome, so how many seats is it roughly? She's like, uh, like 250, 300? And I was like, perfect, that's like the perfect size I wanna do. So when I told Laura, and I was like, hey, can you book the Playhouse in Fredericton? Like book this theater, and uh, turns out, uh, Lauren got it all booked. It was great. Sent me everything and it turns out dude. It's 700 seats. It's over 700 seats It's got a full balcony and everything dude That's like the size of the theaters We've been doing on the hunger for laughs tour and now I'm doing it as a solo show I've never done anything that big as a solo act. So it's pretty exciting man, but I gotta tell you Amazing! Like we've already sold over a hundred tickets to the show. It's not till January twentieth. I just can't believe it. Like I'm just like, man, this is crazy that that these people are buying tickets this early and it's already it's already coming out, man. Like I don't know. You really it's really working, kid. You're getting there. And uh, so we have that. We have the East Coast tour. We're headlining uh, Yuck Yucks in Halifax, which will be my first time headlining a Yuck Yucks comedy club which I'm very grateful for. And then uh, we've got Moncton, we've got Fredericton, New Glasgow, and Charlottetown, little Prince Edward Island action, which I love it over there. It's one of my favorite places. Just cause all the cities look, or the, the houses look so cool. They're all painted different colors, you know? Like someone's like, I want a yellow house. And the next person's like, I want purple. And they just, it looks like something out of a cartoon. It's cool. Um, so we have that. 
And then we've got the Australia tour right after that. So we go to Australia for probably two and a half months and we're in Perth and Adelaide and we booked a couple theaters. So I did exactly like I do over here. I'm like, I wonder if I could do that in Australia. So I've now just rented a couple theaters and uh, one of them's like a 200 seater, one's a 500 seater. I'm pretty nervous about the 500 seater, uh, trying to sell tickets over there. I mean, well, we'll see what happens, see if we can get it to work. And uh, it'll be a fun time regardless of what it is, you know? And then, uh, yeah, just keep on keeping on. And then we come back and then we've got our van tour again for next summer, which is really cool. So things are going good. It's pretty exciting. I just have to remember that it's all going to work out in the end. Because it's sometimes like, like I said, the producer stuff is so draining. And I don't feel that good with it. But then I know that I'm like, well, if you weren't doing the producer stuff, you would be like, I want to do some producer stuff. You know, typical, typical Alex. Can't make up their mind. You know, wants what they don't have. So, yeah. Anyway, it's funny. This whole time I've been talking about how good I'm doing live from my parents' basement. Like Macklemore says, it's not dope to be 25 and move back to your parents' basement. <laughs> Macklemore, I'm 35 and I'm still here, okay? That's how good it's going. So anyway, uh, that's what I got off the top here. Uh, the show, CN Center, Prince George, this weekend. I uh, love you guys. Uh, get your tickets and thank you to everyone who's, uh, who's cheering me on. 